This video is going to be on what is going on inside of a starter solenoid. This one is on a big truck, but it's the same principle as what's on a car or a lawnmower or anything that needs a starter solenoid or a relay. And the reason you need a relay on a starter is because a starter pulls a lot of amps. Amperage needs heavy wiring and heavy contacts when you use a lot of amperage. Voltage doesn't need that to be heavy, but amperage does. So when you got high amperage, you're going to have great big bolts like this and great big contacts on the inside of this and great big cables to carry that amperage. Otherwise, they will heat up. The cables will heat up and start burning things up. This is a little small our small contact and the reason it's small is because it just takes voltage from the ignition switch that energizes this and that in turn energizes a magnet inside here or not a magnet but an electric magnet a coil of wire that sucks a metal plunger like a piston it, it's spring loaded and it stays out but then the magnet when this is energized it sucks that in it pulls that in which in turn it's on a pivot pin and in turn kicks the starter drive out to engage the flywheel on the on the motor when it kicks that out and engages that at the same time that plunger is slamming a contact into the bottom of these two right here and making that electrical connection between right here completes the circuit on the starter I don't know if I was able to explain that in words very good I'm going to go ahead and open this up and show you what's inside of it I'm going to get these both off these little ones off and these two screws here and I won't be able to pull this completely off because it's going to have wires holding it on. We'll see that when we get inside it. I have all my nuts that hold these contacts tightly in place. I have all those nuts off. So these will come loose from the inside now. Now I'm going to take these. These are Torx bolts here. They take a female Torx socket. I'm going to go ahead and take those off. rubber washer or gasket in here and we have these two that are on uh, rubber washers this little wire where the little wire goes here to energize it there's a, a letter S right here next to it so I'm going to go ahead and put a mark down here that's where my S is going to go To that side. Can't pull too hard because I don't want these to break in there. This one doesn't really need to do anything because that one is just on there like that. It's nothing else is holding it on from the in other side. This one does have something holding it on from the other side there. It just came off. And so does this one. There, we got them all off now. Okay, here is what I wanted to explain what is going on in there. This contact area here. Let me go ahead and push this out. This one and this one are carrying your heavy amperage and as you can see on this copper disc this is what shoots up when the 
when the starter is energized, that piston pushes in from the other side and pushes this thing up. And it slams this copper disc into the bottom of these two, which completes the circuit of that heavy amperage across your cables. Completes it from one cable to the other and then goes on into the starter to energize the starter. So what I'm going to do with this is just clean this up a little bit on the brush wheel. The same thing with these. This has a little tab folding around the other side there a little bit. Push that out, we can pull this one out and clean this one up on the brush wheel. We'll clean both of these up and this. Don't want to lose this spring, we'll just pull that off, save it for the moment. Got that cleaned up. This copper disc here. But I'm not going to, and I cleaned these up too, but I'm not going to put these in just yet because I'm a little bit concerned about the condition of these threads. I'm going to chase them with a, a tap and, uh, or a die or whatever you want to call it. Clean these threads up a little bit. Touch that up on the brush wheel just a hair. Got this ready to put back together. And I'm looking for the side I marked, which is right here. That means this one is going to go to the S terminal. And the S terminal is going to be on the outside of the starter. These are two different lengths. The long one goes on top where all of those contacts have to go on it. The battery cables and other things that have to go on there. I'm going to turn this to where the new side is facing the copper ring. Not the old side. There's a clear mark there where the old side was. So the new side is facing it now. just holds that on there for assembly purposes. That's going to go on like that. I chase these threads too with a, a um, little small die. This one, we're just going to put that in here, but now that I got all these cables and stuff off of here, I mean these bolts and studs, I can clean this out a little bit better. I got these pieces cleaned up enough to put it back together. This long one is going to go on the top. This is my S terminal. It's always facing me when I'm looking at the starter on the motor. So this one goes on here and we're going to arrange it so that the new side is facing the middle towards the, the uh, copper ring there. To, Use side is out this time. Put one of these rubber washers on there. Hold that on. You've got it. Cleaned up these nuts too. They'll probably rust faster now because the coating is a lot thinner. Snug that down a little bit when I put the other ones on. Carefully put these
in and you don't want these bottoms of the where the wire is you don't want that to be facing the middle it'll go either way so you want that to face this way and this one's facing that way so they're both out of the way of getting hit by this plunger because that thing really slams up there hard when that's energized got everything back together now I'm just putting the screws back in that hold the top on they don't rebuild these things they just throw them away of course this is not a rebuild this is just a clean up and showing you guys what's in there for those that don't know what's in there or how they work and apologize for my presentation not the best speaker if you can put up with that and just listen to what I say and not how I say it then that will uh, get the point across can't put on real tight because they'll break. But really the important thing on these is getting it tight between this nut and the top nut that goes down on top of the cables. Getting those two tight, this one being tight on here is not so important. There, it's cleaned up, it's done, it's ready to be used again. There it is, all cleaned up and done with a little coat of paint on it. That way I'll know that it is one that is ready to go back on a starter. Alright, thank you for watching.